Hey there friends, so when it comes to mobile games and basically any kind of game or anything that takes a lot of time in your life, I think it's a good thing to take a pause and sort of see what the game is offering you, what you are spending your time on and things like that, especially because this game or any really any game requires a pretty big time investment. So I just kind of want to take a, s a moment here it's a new year, might as well do a little bit of an assessment of what the game is kind of giving us to help us kind of, for lack of a better word, uh, cope, manage uh, our time with it and sort of just get the most out of it without putting so much into it. Because essentially, like a lot of times it feels like playing these kinds of games is pretty much like a part time job in itself. And you, you guys probably know exactly what I mean. So. I kind of wanted to look at a bunch of like quality of life type of stuff in the game and see where it's helping. Uh, are we sort of like on the Sadly side of things where it's just like evilness or are we on the feels good Raldor.jpg side of things? I kind of just made that guy for you guys so you can at least enjoy the meme. All right, so let's kind of get into it a little bit. So my background with this is you know just the feeling of being burnt out or overwhelmed uh, a lot of people have really been pointing out that there's basically a non-stop parade of units and I, what i mean by that is 100 cost and limited units not just like normal units uh granted we have had some free units and whatnot but then to me what's the biggest thing that's affecting me that affects me is like the overlapping events and that would be like tower class match quick pick match, raid, guild raid, uh, raid revival, and one other thing is limited raid battle. And then I also mentioned there the CM bug, the class match bug. So there was a class match bug a while ago that gave uh, light like way more speed than they were, than they were supposed to get. Kind of got me a little bit frustrated. <clears throat> I know I'm not the only one that got frustrated over that, but I feel like that was kind of a point where I was just like, that on top of other things is kind of just like made me question like what am i doing playing this game so to me the the, the units are kind of like whatever because i kind of generally tend only to pull on units i like granted there are some surprises and yes the, the shadow links was kind of a little bit of a disappointment for me so that kind of ended up being you know a, another kind of domino in things that sort of just fell together and uh, got me, f had me feeling a little bit upset. So I kind of just went through a lot of stuff in the game that's been changing, that's been improving and stuff like that. Um, so I think I'm going to try to focus that on that at the beginning. And then I am also just going to talk about stuff that just hasn't been fixed through the game, throughout like the entirety of the game. And I wish that they would fix it. So basically a bunch of nitpicks. Uh, um, this is kind of just meant to be like a therapeutic se uh, session, kind of casual. Um, hopefully you guys can relate. Um, again, like the first part of the video, I'm going to try to just remind you, is going to be the stuff that I think is has been added that's good. And then the rest of it is just going to be like me nitpicking a lot of stuff that's just kind of hasn't been fixed in a while. So let's get straight into it. And I, I think basically the GOAT of all the updates that has come to this game is background repeat background repeat has been pretty amazing and has helped a lot when it comes to the amount of time that you can spend in this game um i made two little points here that are really good that it kind of runs while you're doing raids so you can sort of queue up your new raids while you're clearing out your list of raids so that's also that's pretty awesome and it also runs during TOR, Trials of Reckoning. So it's essentially the same thing while you're doing the boss. You can cl you can keep farming the stages and keep farming of tickets. So I think those are two pretty awesome things about it. So the thing with background repeat is that it makes plus five in your weapons much easier. It makes running the guild chambers much easier. It makes um, doing some quest missions uh Alcaraz chamber things like that and we're gonna get into that into the next slide and i think the thing with the background repeats is it can be your best friend or like if you don't utilize it <clears throat> then 
it doesn't help you so you have to kind of plan it out so the next slide here what I have is like what I call the overnight schedule so what I've been finding what works for me pretty well is to just say you know what tonight before I go to bed I'm just gonna run my one mission my one calculation mission and then just let it run overnight um, for, so what I found is since you need once you get the 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 plus three the initial plus three weapon you really only need 48 recipes to be able to make the plus five and you know throw in an extra one for the plus six um, so what you do is you know right before you go to sleep you just run your event mission and then what I like to do is I set up to a hundred laps because it's about a 40% chance of getting the the drop so it's probably gonna give you a little bit less so if you want you can do like 110 120 laps just to be sure or you can just save it for the next day use some skip tickets to get the rest something like that so <clears throat> I find that in a week we have, you know, only have a certain amount of these that we could really use. I'd, I think it's better for you to keep on top of it to try to just do it as quickly as you can. So I kind of just came up with this little schedule that I made here. So since the week starts on Wednesday, uh, I have the example here for Dragon Quest. This would be Pissarro Sword and the Cobalt Gloves. Uh, so just beat the, what you should do is just beat the brutal mission and then start farming it overnight you don't have to get all five stars that's kind of another awesome thing about the the background repeat you don't need five stars unlike with the skip tickets you can just beat the mission and then just, just start running it instantly so by day one you could potentially just have your plus one ready to go and then day two get if there's two event items going on or however many there are just do it the next day you have a day for your alchemist chamber of course you might want to vary this because there's different alchemist chambers per day there's a day you can do your red orbs or yellow orbs and then you know saturday and sunday you might want to consider doing the guild chamber i've kind of been doing the guild chamber pretty much every week and it's been pretty decent i, I think i run like 25 potions every time I think that's been working out pretty decently. I think I'm starting to plus at this point in terms of having enough gil left over. So I'm really happy about that. And then you dedicate a week to a day to books and uh, trust stone chamber. And honestly, throwing the books in the trust stone chamber has been pretty good in terms of being able to farm books much more easily. So you can count that almost as its own QOL update within itself. And then I just have for Tuesday question mark because you can basically just throw in whatever you want, whatever else is missing there. I couldn't really think of another one. Maybe I missed something, but you can basically just throw in whatever you're missing there. And I made it Tuesday because Monday, um, I don't, I think Monday is the day where there's no Alcarus bonus. So, you know, you, you kind of just have to figure out where, what Alcarus you want and then just kind of throw that into there. So I think for the most part, there's some negatives to the background repeat but it's overall like so much of a huge improvement that will take the negatives along with with the positives on this one i think the negatives are far outweighed by the positives and so in the next slide just one thing the one negative to me there's a lot of there's a few other negatives with the one negatives to me i wish they would change i wish they wouldn't have background repeat in selection quests um, because who really is going to run repeated selection quests on auto? I don't think that's something that people would do. Just run your, your 10 or above and you can use like 7 skip tickets and you're good on the materials. So selection quests to me is kind of like hard content. It's like nightmare level content, like brutal plus between brutal and nightmare, maybe even more than nightmare, I don't know. So you might want to focus on this while you're running background repeat. So I'm not entirely sure why they don't allow you to run this while background repeat is running. So that's really the only thing I'd want. This is the biggest thing I'd want to change. Everything else is kind of just minor in turn comparison to this. Um, and like the Wayfarer's Chamber, the uh, like the Slime Daily Missions, stuff like that, the Hard Quest, the Character Quest, you can run all those without messing up your auto repeat your background repeat so I'm not entirely sure why they went with selection quest 
included in this i'm not really sure so that's really my one complaint about that so moving on one thing with the that came with the background repeat is that we no longer have the small potions it's not that huge of a deal but i'm not really sure if there's really a source for small potions anymore but the good thing is that in guild battle we are getting extra large potions so i guess it balances out um so when it comes to these free energy refills that we get three times a day i feel like this gives us like way too much energy and it's kind of like annoying to kind of use this energy because you have to ma either manually use it or you have to skip ticket it so it's kind of a little weird kind of negative that comes along with the background repeat but hey you know i tend to just use it for the hard quests for the daily shard quests for any kind of master quest for, and then uh in general for story before i start the background repeat I just like skip ticket stories because those skip tickets are pretty um pretty much unlimited i mean at this point the event skip tickets are you get to save more just because of background feet. but you know these these like energy hits i feel like a lot of times i just have too much energy left over so not necessarily a bad thing but okay so i'm gonna try to speed up here i'm already 11 minutes in so event equipment so let me turn off my camera for like a second here uh, when it comes to the dragon quest event and the same thing came with the final fantasy 13 event um the weapon for zoma is i guess the cobalt gloves that counts as a separate event uh from the dragon quest series so kind of the annoying thing is that you can't farm the event tokens but for some reason they made a zoma ex quest and the only drop is the medals here I, I just call them tickets with their medals and i don't really see the point of this i mean i kind of understand why they did it just so you'd have another ex quest to run and you do get the rewards so i guess that's fine but when you kind of run it on background repeat all you get are these medals as compared to the pizarro weapon quest on the bottom right here you get all these other materials i don't really know why you would want to run the zoma one it, you do get a few more medals but like all this other stuff i feel like it outweighs even if you're not going to use this stuff directly you can probably use it for another piece of equipment and so the reason i think they did the separate glove they did the same thing for snow's weapon which is the tiger fang i, th I think that's snow's weapon um uh, so the good thing about that is that it does show up in the far plane archive so if you miss it for whatever reason you can always go back and get it so at least you know it's kind of like bad in a way but it's good that it at least shows up in the far plane archives and so continuing onward i also wanted to point out that I don't know why I called it arena keys, but these are the far plane archive keys. Uh, they are actually in the friend metal shop and I was kind of looking around for these and I finally just found it. I don't know if they just added these kind of like a couple of weeks ago, but I'm really happy that these are here um, because you can just buy them and you're limited to five a day, which is really not that much of a limit. So I think that's pretty good. You're really just limited by the amount of friend metals you have at this point. A lot of us just have it pretty much tens of thousands really only for the new players would it take a while to get these but the, i was kind of monitoring the lizette quest i was just kind of checking out to see when it would show up after her quest initially launched and it was about a month after so in a sense this is actually a pretty big quality of life because these nightmare quests can be a little bit hard so if there's a lot of other stuff going on you don't have to be afraid of missing out on them because after a month or so they're going to show up in the far plane archives if you want you can just um get the unit maybe do the easy missions and then if you don't if you're not really feeling the unit you can just say you know what i don't really have time to do this i can wait the month and after a month it'll be here in the far plane archive so i think that's actually a pretty good improvement okay so i think this is where i get into like my nitpicks and i'm gonna turn my camera back on but i might move it back down to the bottom but this is where i get into my nitpicks a little bit uh and from here on out it's pretty much going to be mostly nitpicks and things they should fix 
um for the guild presence for some reason they have an add to send receive button so at the top one thing they did add is as soon as you do it kind of like any guild activity you automatically attend so i think that's pretty awesome i'm really glad they did that but for some reason they haven't set they haven't added a send claim all gifts like they did with the friend medals i think it would be really good if they added that and hopefully it should be that much on the programming side of things considering they already have it in the friend medals so i don't know i think they just kind of like didn't think of it or something but i, I want them to add that because that would be pretty helpful um the daily missions i've talked about this before i'm glad they changed everything to count for 20 points but i am honestly really tired of doing dual like every day so i wish they would kind of just add like six or seven missions so that you have your choice of five and just do whatever five you want and then just fill up the thing claim your viz and whatnot that's kind of what i want I, I feel like that would make my life a lot easier so i don't have to keep doing arena every day even though you can skip it i still feel like it's annoying and um on the same vein let me move my face down here and i don't really think that helped much but on the same vein of the doing the arena every day it's annoying to have to do these monthly missions where you have to do 130 uh, arena or where you have to do the, the wayfarer's chamber a certain amount of times or you know etc um what was the other one wayfarer's chamber <sighs> I, I forgot but there, there's certain oh the choke not the chocobo there, there's certain things that you could only do three times a day or five times a day and at the end of the month if you for whatever me reason missed a certain amount you're not going to be able to get the final either the final rainbow orb here or the final tokens here which i mean at this point these rainbow orbs are not that much of a big deal like once a month but i feel like i wish they could condense this in a way kind of like what they did with the guild chamber where it wasn't how many times you played it it was just the amount of snappers you get maybe they could do something like that and sort of make it a little bit easier to kind of finish these guys off okay so this is kind of a big one for me is these five percent banners at first i thought they were pretty okay because it was like a kind of a pretty balanced thing um but now you can you can do the full the full um 100 and the mock shop doesn't have those extra blossoms and stuff that they like those tickets those uh awakening prism tickets and the fragment of thought tickets like the original ones did and of course i'm blocking the thing again the words <laughs> uh so i, I kind of wish they would add those back because i feel like what is the point of doing the five percent banners if they're gonna be this like i don't think they're gonna be better than doing the nine step and when it comes to the units that are full rate that they are in half rate like pissarro here he's a 90 cost i think so he's not the 100 cost rate he's the normal rate so there's really no reason for them to do this style of banner because you're most likely again i know some people do get pretty unlucky but you're most likely to pull this i think between 10 and 12 pulls i think it's what it works out to so i'm not really sure why they're still doing it like this and considering you get the the pity medals anyway i'm not really sure why you'd want the to hit the 100 percent pity five percent at a time i mean guaranteed for sure they're doing it because they don't want to give the pity every five summons and fine i get that they're still trying to make money but whatever and so don't the other thing to point out for this is the paid summon that they changed it from like the single paid for 50 paid viz the single pull and now it's a 10 times pull um i, I get why they would do this um to be honest like they were probably losing money people were probably pulling from the daily polls but honestly i don't see the incept incentive to do the 10 polls at all so i again you can get extremely unlucky for sure but i don't see any incentives to do the 10 polls the only reason to do that is to fill up the 10 percent pity but like i said you're most likely to pull it about halfway through and i think this honestly incentivizes you to do single pulls since they haven't since they took away your paid single pulls i feel like this incentivizes you to do your own custom single pulls 
and then just do the 200 free viz to do your single pulls I think you have a pretty good chance of actually pulling him early like that um, yeah I don't know uh, there's there's another game that I used to play Pokemon Masters um, that game for like two years they didn't have any reason to do a 10 pull because it was the same price and I would pull my unit I would always do the single pulls and I would always get my units within like 10 pulls and I was just like alright well thanks I'm out of here so and the funny thing in that game was that you didn't really need to get shards or anything so once you got the unit you were good to go and you could just <laughs> use your unit uh, so yeah that was kind of and I messed up my sound here that was kind of funny I thought um, so yeah I honestly don't see a reason to do temples anymore so I think they need, really need to figure something out better with this okay so yeah and this is another thing you can tell that I don't know if they're like not making us so much money or they just want to squeeze more money out of us uh, they're clearly releasing more units and stuff like that so I, they're just trying to make it harder for us to pull they made every single unit and card here its own separate banner I'm not really a fan of that but what can you what can you do at this point um, Gil Simmons so I actually think these style of Gil Simmons are a little bit better where it's just like a one-shot deal you don't have to do th times three I think they started these when they did the Final Fantasy 13 and tactics just because just there were so many banners but for some reason they reverted it back to the three I, I think I like these better um, I think there might be a slightly higher chance of pulling like the three times uh, copy of the actual uh, VC or the unit uh, I might be making that up but yeah I, honestly I think it's better to just do the one shot and you usually don't really get anything in terms of getting those three shards for the featured unit or card so I think keep it like this for the rest of the, the rest of the banners just keep it like this honestly uh, starter quests so kind of talked about this a little bit before but I think starter quests are a really good I actually think they are a good QOL um, the fact that you kind of get to repeatedly use the unit you can watch their limit break as much as you want you know you can mess around with them sort of see how much damage they do the only thing is that you can't really equip like vision cards and equipment of your own to kind of figure that stuff out and you can't really run it on auto just to see what the AI would do but I think this is better than having the companion that you could only use one time you can do this as many times as you want um, I kind of wish that they would like once you beat it once that you could have like free reign to just kind of have different maps or something I don't know I'm not really entire sure, entirely sure how to improve this but I think one other thing that they can do is maybe throw this into the far plane archives or something like that so like whenever even one of the all, always available units uh, whenever they come out you can just have that there or whenever you know there's a rerun you can just rerun that sort of quest and just see what they do or you know before like right before the rerun I thought I think that would be a neat idea at least okay so moving onward so in terms of the event missions and let me move myself to the bottom again uh, this is not just for the collab missions but for really any other event missions I'm, I kind of get annoyed that you have to do like 10 different missions three times each I need I feel like they need to get rid of that just make it one time um, the reason I say that is because if you look at the metals here and I, this is kind of small so I can't really see it let me see if I can make this bigger for myself uh, this new version of OBS is kind of annoying I think that says three or four hundred right, right there so my problem is that you end up running this like five times just to get like 500 metals you can get like 200 medals every time you run the EX so like you can just run that five times and get like a thousand medals so I'm not really sure what the point of like all these quests are granted I do like these awakening prisms and whatnot here but I feel like it's kind of annoying to have to run through all the quests and then just have to run through each of them three times even if you use skip tickets you're using up your skip tickets for this um, I think they should just have this and then w like with the slime you have those extra slime quests you know quest number 10 is a little bit harder so you're kind of already doing it I don't see I don't really see the point of having to do these every time now so I wish that they would just have you do it once and give you the max benefit from that 
Okay, so in terms of character quests, they've been re releasing a lot of character quests, aka MAs or MA2s, and I feel like um, having to scroll through your unit list to figure out which units still have you still have to, left to do is kind of annoying. So I there's plenty of space right here. They can add another icon at the bottom here or in the story mode area right next to where the other hard quest icon is. They can just add another icon right there. Basically exactly like the hard quest list, but just instead of that, have it be the character quest list. Now you can technically browse through this map here. It's almost the same thing, but it's really annoying to have to go in and out of each little icon here. So I feel like they can just make another hard quest list style icon right here uh, on where I made a, that red square circle thingy. I, I feel like that would be a great addition to the game. Okay, so token missions. There's one token mission where it's the daily one where you have to claim it. So I think it used to be five and now it's three. So actually that's an improvement and now it's only three. I mean, you're still gonna do your five to do your daily quest anyway. But I feel like they should make th what they should do is that they should make this an auto claim because it's very easy to miss this. And if you miss this for the month, you, you just miss it. Or if you miss it for the day, you just miss it for the whole month. So, yeah, you, you, I guess you can collect 30 of these. So missing one of these could potentially mean like up to 30 that you're missing. So I feel like they should at least make this one auto claim. This is kind of really a nitpick, but it's kind of just bugging me. Um, Okay, so in terms of these permanent banners uh, quests here, I feel like they really need to conden condense them. And again, there's plenty of spaces, he plenty of space here on the left where they can just add some icons, uh, Warrior of the Crystals icon, Path of the Conqueror, whatever they want to add here, they can just add them right here or right here on the bottom. So I think I would appreciate that very much. Uh, Tower. So I feel like with Tower, Tower's pretty much lost its identity. Like, I don't really understand what the point of Tower is anymore. Uh, originally, like, I, okay, you know, Rain Sword was lo locked behind the Tower. I thought that was a pretty cool event when Rain came out. Rain is like two or three years old at this point. Like, I see no reason why his sword should be stuck behind, like, limited content. I think that's insane. Rain is actually a pretty cool unit for new players. Why would you put his sword that you essentially need behind limited content? I have no idea. I think what they should do is make this unlimited, throw it into the Far Plane archives or something like that, where you need a key or something to unlock it. I think that's fine. Have the event come back normally and then have the key to unlock it. So I think what they should do is just like with Lizette or the, the MR units or with the equipment the tiger fan you know once they release the like the new 10 floors the new item okay if you miss it don't get, take away access for like a month but like after a month just give us access and what they should do i think is just they should have you know maybe they don't want to do floors like one through 70 or whatever but at least have like floors one through 30 so that people could probably at least get the rain sword and maybe the first ring at, at least and speaking of the rings, honestly, there every from time to time, I think Cabbage always mentions that he kind of just doesn't really do tower. And I, I totally get what he means at this point, because I don't feel like the reward is all that great. You're essentially doing pretty much nightmare level quests. Um, I feel like tower essentially needs a revamp. I do like the idea of a survival mode, but like, I don't know, it just whenever tower comes around it's usually pretty annoying to do and then on top of that when you do get these items they don't really um have the best stat roll so as you can see here my like this is fully smithed ha uh hammered smiths whatever you want to call it and you can see my hp is still not maxed so it's kind of annoying to go through so much just to get these rings which are not usually not that amazing <laughs> to be honest and for them to not even max out after you put all your books and stuff all, all your materials and stuff into it kind of annoying i feel like tower needs a revamp um again i used to love tower because it gives you a chance to use all your units but like nowadays you just throw your hundred cost units your elemental teams you run it 
everything you can for a day and then reset it. it it's just not really the same where you get to use all your units like you used to in the past so i feel like they should just um not have this be limited or they should revamp it in some kind of way okay and i think this is the last one where it they have filters here so these filters are good but i wish they would add other filters to this so the thing here is that they have some good filters in terms of slash pierce strike missile like i would love to filter by that but for whatever reason they they think resist is more important than attack type so if i want to see all my swords there's no way to do this i have to look through my swords my spears my gloves like everything all together and like i don't understand why i have to look through all that stuff you know they do let you separate by weapon and armor but like i want to be able to separate by sword just by sword by just by axe just by gun right all that stuff is mixed together like please add more filters and actually I, I was watching rnj today he reviewed the news and it looks like they are adding some sorting options but they're still not adding these filters please add more filters um and again they do have weapon armor accessory up here but then on the back screen that you can see there in the back they already have icons for weapon armor and accessory and trust master so i'm not really sure why they have these specifically up here again it kind of just doesn't really make sense uh and it's been like that since the beginning of the game and i wish that they would just fix it because we should just have so many pieces of equipment it's really hard to look through everything all right so that's pretty much it uh just to kind of go back to the first slide there um uh, i kind of want to be here on the raldor uh feels good dot jpeg side of things um uh, I don't think we're quite there yet. I, I almost feel like we're kind of in the orange, but something like the background repeat adds so much where I do want to just kind of push that towards like the light green sort of part of the meter. Um, but yeah, guys, um, I'm sure I missed some stuff. I, I tried to include as much stuff as possible, but I'm sure I missed some stuff. So let me know if I missed anything or don't even let me know just post it on reddit or something i feel like there needs to be more not not really like an outcry but just more just to show that we want some of this stuff because a lot of this stuff has been uh, we've kind of been without it since the beginning of the game and we're kind of like almost three years into the game and stuff just isn't fixed so i would like to see some of that stuff be addressed i don't know about you guys but that's just me all right anyway guys thank you guys for watching and i am gonna get out of here and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next video peace out